tissues in adults are quiescent, with only a small fraction of cells engaged in the cell division cycle. It's obviously important to study these rare dividing cells in their in vivo niche if we are to understand processes such as normal tissue dynamics, regeneration, and cancer. However, there is a major technical difficulty here. To identify such rare dividing cells, current technology requires that we fix them and stain them, which kills the cells and causes loss of sensitive biological materials such as RNA. For example, we are interested in the mechanisms that control the replication of insulin producing beta cells in the pancreas. However, as can be seen in the slide, less than 1% of beta cells are dividing at any given time, making it very difficult to tell which genes are expressed in these dividing beta cells. To solve this problem, we developed a transgenic system which marks replicating cells in vivo and allows the isolation and characterization of live replicating cells. We took advantage of a previously described reporter in which GFP is fused to the destruction box of cyclin B1, so the cells become green as they enter S phase of the cell cycle until they reach metaphase. And yes, Kloschendler and Noah Weinberg in the lab generated a lentiviral vector expressing this reporter and used it to establish a transgenic mouse that expresses the reporter in all cells. In the paper, we confirmed that the reporter is correctly expressed and is indeed marking replicating cells. For example, here in this clip, you can see ear fibroblasts from these transgenic mice, and you can note that as cells undergo mitosis, GFP is degraded and begins to accumulate again as cells reach S phase of the cell cycle. We also examined different tissues and you can observe this nice overlap between GFP and BRDU as, as a marker of replicating cells, for example here in the intestine. In the next stage we utilize the system to study the transcriptome of rarely dividing liver cells. We dissociated the liver to single cells while maintaining the cells alive and separated them by fax into GFP-positive dividing and GFP-negative quiescent hepatocytes. We then profiled gene expression using microarrays. We chose to work with young mice at a stage where hepatocyte division is rare but still significant. The findings are described in the paper. Briefly, we have obtained a beautiful catalog of the hundreds of genes that are upregulated in dividing hepatocytes in vivo, including many known cell cycle genes and many genes unknown previously to be involved in cell division. Second, and more surprising, we found that genes marking the differentiated state of hepatocytes are downregulated during cell division. This includes, for example, genes related to lipid, amino acid, and steroid metabolism. We think this is interesting because it's reminiscent of the old dogma that replication and differentiation are mutually exclusive processes. Is it possible that when differentiated cells divide, they undergo transient transcription differentiation? Is it possible that the differentiation seen in cancer is related to the phenomenon that we observed here in normal dividing cells? We view this system as a more general tool uh, for any study that requires live replicating cells. In this work, we analyze gene expression, but in a similar manner, one can study the proteome or metabolome of replicating cells, study differences between normal cell proliferation and the proliferation in the context of cancer or during regeneration, and study the replicating cells in multiple tissues. We hope you enjoy the paper.